Well, I'm here to talk about an ancient Chinese triangle that was discovered before the age of stone. Then Blaise Pascal discovered the importance of its properties, and then he went and took it for his own. So if n is any number, then n is equal to the sum of both numbers found above it. And it keeps going to infinity with many other properties. I'm telling you, you're really gonna love it. If it's a situation of life or death, and you have to find the probability of choosing two marbles out of five, just go down to the fifth row and write to the second number, and ten's the number keeping you alive. And if you don't want to draw the whole triangle because you're lazy, you think there must be an easier way to do it. Well, you're right, just like every other math problem there is, there's a formula, and I'm gonna take you through it. It's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. If n's the row and r is the placement in that row, then you don't need to know any more it's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial and there's no more. If there was a Pascal's triangle for a hockey, we could figure out when the halves will score. Pascal's triangle has many magic properties and I bet that you didn't even know that 11 to the n where n is the row number will give you all the digits in that row. And the sum of each row is equal to 2 to the n, where n is the row number once more. At 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1, and the number that you get is 64. It's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. If n's the row and r is the placement in that row, then you don't need to know any more. Oh, it's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial, and there's no more. If there was a Pascal's triangle for hockey, we could figure out when the halves will score. There's one more property that makes the triangle look like this and it's called the Triangle of Sierpinski. And all you have to do is leave the even numbers blank and the odd numbers all colored in ski. I'm sure you'll agree this triangle is better than the Rubik's Cube and all the other puzzles ever made. And if there was a Pascal's Triangle for love, every young man in this room would get looked at. Oh, it's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Well, n's the row and r is the placement in that row, then you don't need to know any more. Oh, it's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. In case that you forget, or you're not annoyed quite yet, I'm going to be repeating this tutorial. Everybody now! Oh, it's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. If n's the row and r is the placement in that row, then you don't need to know any more. Oh, it's n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial, and there's no more. Pascal's triangle for a hockey, we could figure out when the Leafs would score. Wait, no, they don't need a triangle for that. Never happens!